Hello friends, welcome to session 5 on basics of isometric projection. Now on the basic problem here, basic problem 13, what he says is, draw the isometric projection of a cone of diameter 50 and axis 70 when it is resting on circular base on HP. Okay. Now what you do as usual, when it is a cone, base is anyway is a circle. Okay. Draw a line at 30, draw a line at 30, 50, 50, 50, 50 square. That is isometric, that is 50 square you draw. Okay. This at 30, this at 30, this and this are parallel, this and this are parallel. Once you draw that, by four center method, what I have told you, using this center, this arc, this radius, draw an arc, this center, draw an arc, this center, continue this arc, continue this arc, again with this center, continue this arc. In that way, base of the cone is a circle, will look like an ellipse, in isometric, hence you finish that. Okay. Once you do this, height of this is height of the cone is always isometric. Then C to C you take height 70. Okay. Now, once you do this, for the cone, you draw two tangents to this. Okay. Two tangents to this. This tangent and this tangent, as you know, they are not parallel to any of the principal edges of the square prism. Okay, what I have shown in the first session. Okay, this is non-isometric, this is non-isometric. That is, this is non-isometric edge, this is a non-isometric edge. Okay, draw two tangents here, draw two, uh, that is, draw tangent here, draw tangent here. This is point of tangency. And as you know here, you have to con concentrate on the top surface. Top surface, since it is a point, you can't show. The left surface, right surface also you can't show because this entire thing is a curved surface. The only thing what you can do is, this portion, the back portion should be, is, is not seen. Hence, it should be made light. That is why, at the point of tangency here and here, you split that. Okay, here and here you split. Okay, once you split the back portion, you make it light. Okay. Once you make it light, this becomes the isometric view. Okay. Once it becomes the isometric view, if you are interested, you can get uh, isometric projection by taking the entire thing using this uh, scale command and the, the multiplication factor, you can write it as 0.816 so that this becomes the isometric projection. This becomes 50 ISO, this becomes 50 ISO, this becomes 70 ISO. All these are isometric edges only. In this, except this uh, tangents here and here, they are called the generators. You remember here afterwards, these tangents to the ellipse, what has been drawn here, they are called the generators of the cone. They are non-isometric since they are not parallel to any of the principal edges. Okay. Now, you see, Next problem is, this rectangular prism of sides 100 by 80 and thickness 30 has a square fold of sides 40 at its center. And you have to draw the isometric projection of this uh, square prism showing clearly the square fold. Okay. Here you see, this is a rectangular prism with a square fold and all that. When it is this way, uh, you see here, I, you can draw isometric view or isometric projection. Nothing matters. Because if it is cone, sorry, if it is a sphere or hemisphere involved, you have to take care of certain extra steps. There, when cone, when a sphere or hemisphere is involved, compulsorily you have to draw isometric projection only. But in these circumstances, when it is a square prism, rectangular prism and all that, square pyramid, hexagonal pyramid and all that, you don't have to worry. You can draw isometric view or isometric projection. Since, since if I, isometric projection is asked, draw isometric projection by taking a scale. If isometric view is asked, don't take the scale. Okay, anyway. Now, draw 100 by 80 rectangle. This is 30 degree. This is 30 degree. I have shown. This is a rectangular prism base. Now, you go height. 30 mm is the height of the rectangular prism. Take 30 here, 30 here, 30 here, 30 here. In that way, you are, your height has been uh, completed. Now you complete this top surface also. 
Now the rectangular prism has been drawn. Now once rectangular prism has been drawn, you should know very well in isometric uh, projection or isometric view, the important thing is top surface, left surface and right surface are seen. That is why top surface you should dark connect, left surface you should dark connect, right surface you should dark connect, back surface and all that, let it be light, 0.13 thickness only and the darkened surfaces are all 0.5 mm thickness and this is the way this rectangular prism is done. But in this problem, there is a small, uh, that is a 4 at the center here. Okay. What you do is, you see here, there is a 4 of sides 40 at its center. Okay. This you please understand. Once you know this, you can manage the actual problems what you do in the next session. Okay. First, what you do is from center to center, you draw a line. From center to center, draw a line of the top surface, get C. Okay. Then you draw 40 mm square. It is actual only. Okay. Don't worry about the isometric and all that. 40 mm square only. Uh, you draw 40 mm square, 30 degree, 30 degree. In that way, 40 mm square you draw. This edge is parallel to this. This edge is parallel to this. This you do. This is, once you have done this, you get the center of this also. Get the center of this also. Move, don't copy and place it here. Once you place it here, you see here, please observe. Once you place it here, this, now this is the fold has to be shown properly. The fold has to be shown properly. The edge from this cannot be seen. Edge from this cannot be seen. Edge from this cannot be seen. But edge from this can be seen. Correct? No. When edge from this, this can be seen because it is a top surface. This edge is invisible. This edge is invisible. This edge is invisible. This edge will be visi visible. That means this edge, since it has a thickness of 30, this edge has to be shown for a thickness of 30. That means you draw a vertical line to a distance of 30. Okay. Once you draw a distance to your 30, that means this is 30. This is also 30. You stop at that, then this edge should be parallel to this. This edge should be parallel to this. That means this can be seen, this can be seen, and this can be seen. Okay. For an observer uh, who wants to ensure the top surface should also be seen. Okay. That is the principle of isometric projection. Okay. That is why you see here, I have darkened this. I have darkened only up to here. One darkened up only up to here. That is split here, split here. Okay. And uh, this portion light, this portion light. Now you have uh, shown one rectangular prism of sides 100 by 80 base, height 30, with a square fold of sides 40 at its center. Okay. And the edges of the square fold also I have seen. This is the vertical edge. These are all bottom edges. And if you observe carefully, this since this is resting on the base on that is on a base, that is the floor on HP, this is actually the floor what you can see. Okay. Now in the later part, in the next chapter, what you do is uh, when you look from here or here, I'll give the direction as front view. Here as the front view direction or this as the front view direction. Wherever is the front view, how it appears in the front view has to be drawn on VP. How it appears in the top view has to be drawn on HP. How it appears on from the right, if you see from the right, on left profile plane, how it appears and all that. That is top view, front view, side view of this solid has to be drawn. That is called orthographic projection. What we will be doing in the next chapter. Okay, that is orthographic projection. I think you have followed. Okay, this is the 30. Okay, this is the edge what you can see. And edge from here, edge from here, edge from here cannot be seen. It is only this edge what will be seen. And after that, draw this edge parallel to this. This edge parallel to this. And split here and split here. And show only up till here. It is visible. And this particular portion you should never forget. It is a floor. What you can see. There is nothing here. Okay. It is not the part of the solid. Okay. In that way, you have completed this problem. 
Okay. Then you take the entire thing, and, uh, that is, you select the entire thing using uh, this uh, scale command and uh, multiplication factor 0.816. As a result, this becomes isometric projection, whereas the, this becomes the isometric view. Both you can have, whatever they ask, you can do. Okay. This is the isometric view of a rectangular prism, okay, of size 100, uh, base size 180, and uh, uh, thickness 30, isometric view. This is the same uh, isometric projection of a rectangular prism, 100 into 80, and uh, thickness 30, with a square fold of size 40 at its center. This, if you do, it will be perfect in all angles, okay. You are not losing any mass even in the examination also okay next uh, you see here there is one simple problem on basics there are three cubes of so 60 40 20 are placed one above the other largest being at the bottom and smallest at the top draw the isometric projection of this combination of solids they have said even here isometric view or isometric projection it's up to you okay since isometric projection is there once you do actual Finally, you take a scale of 0 0.816 and convert it into isometric projection. Okay. Now, you see here, 60, 40, 20, you remember. Now, first you draw 60 square. 60 square you draw. 30 degree, 30 degree. 60, 60, 60. Actual. Actual iso square. Actual iso square. That is 60 here, 60 here, 60. Actual you draw. And this cube you draw. Top surface, left surface, right surface are seen. And this you completed. Now, the beauty here is you don't have to do again. You take a next another thing now. 40 mm uh, cube, if you want to complete, if you want to complete, select the entire thing. That is, select the, uh, that is, first move, copy and paste here and take a scale factor of 40 by 60. So that the 40 mm square is directly obtained here. Okay, the scale factor is 40 by 60. Okay, and then directly you get a so that is a cube of size, size 40. Okay, once you do this, once you do this, you take the center here, you draw a mid to mid line mid to mid line and here this has to be seated over this okay this has to be seated over this that is why you get the center of the bottom surface also then this will be placed here now to get uh, this also 20 mm square what do you do you select the entire thing using uh, scale uh, command okay and multiplication factor you take it as 20 by 40, that is 0 0.5 you do, automatically 20 cube you will get directly. Okay. See carefully, this you do, move and copy and take a scale factor of 40 by 60 so that 40 cube is obtained. Then again, move and copy and take a scale factor of 0 0.40 by 20 by 40, that is 0 0.5, cube of 20 is also obtained. Okay. Once you get this, you have to place one above the other. You see here how I'll place. First, what you do? This has to be seated over this. Take the center, that is center to center, center to center, bottom surface. You get this. And top surface, center to center, center to center, you do. In that way, you place it here. Okay. Then what you do is, this one, you... Take this, again, take the center to center of the bottom surface you take, center to center of the top surface you take, then you place above this, see here, see center, see here, and center here, place above this. Now the visibility is always from the top surface, top surface, top solid. You darken the top surface, left surface, right surface, and back portion and all that, you make it light. You see, I have made it light, the back portion and all that, top surface, left surface, right surface are all seen. Okay, and even here, the back portion and all that, you make it light. Okay, in that way, from the top surface, this is fully seen. This back surface, it is made invisible. This is made invisible. This is the isometric view of the three solids, one above the other. Okay, thank you for watching.